Yo, 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 hello guys and welcome back to our Portland Snowhawks build here on Madden 21. Um, some big news, uh, we, we got to see the um, hidden dev for our quarterback. I'm not too sure if I've already showed this or not. I've I seen it after recording last episode. This right here, it says right there, superstar. So I clicked on it and he is, he's not a, he's not a star. He's not a superstar X Factor, but he's right there in the middle. He is a superstar. We will take that. That right there is very good news, boys. Very good news. Um, so we can definitely see this guy getting into the, I would say the low 90s. I would hope if we really stick with him. Um, I mean, he should be play. He should play good, and he should stay healthy. I, I'm not. I am in all in on Manny Thomas. Now, Jamal Williams is on a contract year, so he's playing for his contract, which we may end up giving him. He's played phenomenal so far this year. I think if he continues to play like that, there's no reason why we shouldn't. Um, but we are definitely. I know. I said last episode we were getting through the first season. Well, we're doing that this episode for sure as we are on the, the, the downhill slope of the season. And we're still playing for the playoffs. We do lose, but we have, man, well, that's rough. It's like, I don't know. I don't really, uh, I don't understand. That's rough, you know. Gre Greg Crothers, good news for him. He has a chance to become a star player. We drafted him, he's a rookie. He's doing his thing out there. Um, we're in a bad spot, man, because Dallas now takes the lead. We do get to play them one time, one, another time this year. They beat us last time, but I was taking a look at the schedule, and you know, excuse me as my phone goes off. Um, I was taking a look at the schedule, trying to see, okay, you know, what's the scores, man? What what, what are we looking at, and? We had, we had a very bad stretch, this four-game stretch, where we scored in all four games under 20. And two of those games, we let over th over 30 points. All of them, we let 20 or higher points. I think if you don't score 20 points or more, you had a bad offensive day, especially nowadays. And if you gave up you know, more than that, then your defense didn't have an awesome day. That's kind of how I, I know that's. That's going to be different for everybody, but that's that's my expectations. I don't want them to score no more than 20 points on defense. and Or I don't want you to give up any more points than 20. And I, you better be scoring more than 20. You know what I mean? And we didn't get that done at all. That's a lot to ask, for, especially against some teams. But you see it here. These last two games, our, our offense has been going off. And our defense has been letting us down that's three games now in a row where we've given up 30 plus points so our defense is really shitting the bed here at the end of the season and uh for the most part they have given up 20 plus points there hasn't really been a game where they haven't actually besides this one game where they we played the eagles and we gave up 17 besides that it's been 20 plus or more so um it's just a little bit of spurts when our offense does good, it seems like. So, you know, this this team is definitely around where I thought it was. That first, that four, those first four games were a lie, all right? That that was not the team that we, we built. And Parnell McPhee has now fallen down, broken collarbone. We were healthy for one game, and now we're not. We lose him. He's not a big part of this team, but that, you know, that does suck that he went down. So, you know, we're, uh, we're back to where we thought we were. We do win against the Broncos again. Uh, so we're just that win-lose, win-lose team. Unfortunately, Greg Crothers does not get any type of upgrade. Um, we have a lot of players we're going to have to try and decide on who we want to keep, but no, no big names that are going to hurt us this year. So... I don't. I think we should be good. I think the biggest contract we're gonna have to decide on is um, Jamal Williams. So, you know, and I'm looking to probably bring him back. He's stayed healthy. He's done 
phenomenal so far. Um, and the division is tied right now. Six of five. We got a chance here. Let's beat the Giants. We beat them last time we met them. There's no reason we can't beat them again. And this will really help us. We could possibly win the division. No, we lose. We give up 27 and only score 10. You can't just score 10 and expect to win a game nowadays. That's just not how this league works anymore. And we fall down. Cowboys win. So now they're, they have that game advantage once again. And now we can scout because we're at 300 scouting points. So we can start filling out this board a little more. Um, not as much talent at the posi certain positions that I would like, unfortunately. Bo Bolton, I might as well just scout him just because I said something about him earlier. We're not, it's not like we're going to take him or anything. Uh, direct tackle, we guess, no. Honestly, I feel fine with that defensive line. Look at that defensive line grade. It's really like our linebackers and our secondary we could use. But something's got to change, though. At the end of the day, uh, it's all about the sim. It's all about how they're simming. Just because they're a good overall, if they're not playing good, then we need to change them. So I can't just rule out, you know, because I was taking a look at it, and we're one of the worst teams at getting to the quarterback, which is crazy. Because it seems like we, on paper we would be, we'd be that team, but that's just not the case. And same with interceptions. We're very lackluster in, you know, interceptions, which I don't like at all. I want a team that can turn the ball over and convert on those mistakes by the quarterback. We haven't had that. John Schmidt. That would have been a good pick. We do need a tight end. But we're focusing kind of on the defense a little bit here. Johnny Thomas. We'll have to start him or have to finish him uh, when we get more scouting points. As far as upgrades go, uh, Alex Brewer. That was a guy that we drafted. He gets an upgrade. Okay, I like to see that. And... All right, so we're on the final stretch here. Four games. All four of these games are very important, I think. We, can, we need to win this game. Easy win. If we're going to drop any of these games, I hope, I hope it's to the Saints. And I hope we can convert on the Raiders, Lions, and Cowboys. That seems doable. Seems pretty easy. Like, come on. 3-9 Raiders. Can we beat them? We... Come on now. Oh, my God. Another letdown by our offense. And the game is, is, is getting at me. It's laughing at me because I just got done saying you can't win by only scoring 10 in this game, league anymore. And guess what the Raiders do? They say, okay, well, we're only going to score 10 and then hold your offense to 7. That is back-to-back -back weeks where our offense has shit the bed. I mean, look at this. Two games. We've scored a total of 17 points. That's just unacceptable. Wow. Our defense has the best game of their career by holding a team to 10. They haven't played like that since week two. And our offense just doesn't even take advantage of it. That's unfortunate. Um, just embarrassing there. Now, now the seat... Now this is where the season gets really hard. So Manny Thomas finally gets another upgrade. He has not been playing good this year, which kind of worries me a little bit going forward. Now the Cowboys have that two-game lead on us, and the Giants have that one-game lead. It's just too close. I doubt we make it to the playoffs. Uh, there's, I mean, there's always a chance, but I think, you know, I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen this year. Yeah, just the inconsistency, and then here, see, now it's just a back and forth, you know. Our defense, which is to be expected, falls apart against a team like the New Orleans Saints. But then our offense goes out and crushes it. It's like, you know, I don't, that's unfortunate. A good, a good game, we play competitive, but, you know. Our offense really needs to be more consistent, I think. But let's go ahead. I mean, we're we're out of this. You know, there's no reason to stop. We're gonna take a look at the at the stats at the end of the, of the season. There's no reason to stop and look at them now. 
Uh, there's no moves that we can make. And then we tie with Detroit. A team like Detroit, we can't even beat them. And now we we fall to the close to the bottom of the division. So we this is really a bad stretch for us. Like we won our four four games at the beginning of the season, and then we just got destroyed. That's basically what happened. And it's unfortunate, you know, because now we won't really have that high of a draft pick, but we lose it to Dallas, so we drop both games to Dallas. That's unfortunate. And we'll have to do a lot of, uh, we do get our contract extended, so guys, by the way, we can get fired, um, and that'd be the end of this, but we're good. I think we deserved it, especially since this is the first year we played competitive. I mean, 6-9-1. and one, You know, we didn't finish last. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened those first four games, you know. <laughs> but if we can maybe get back to that somehow. So, all right, let's take a look at some stuff here really quick. Let's take a look at teams get, or, you know, what happened for our team you know we obviously but after okay after that four game stretch we lost four in a row then we won then we lost then we won against the Broncos and that would be the last time we'd win we'd go on another long losing stretch where we would lose the rest of the games except for week 16 where we tied the Detroit Lions like honestly I don't know uh, there's inconsistency from both sides of the ball I think you know for offense and defense maybe a little more on the offensive side I think I mean there's a lot of chances where like this game against Dallas two games where offense could have took advantage of that um Especially against the Raiders. But again, defense didn't play phenomenal either. I mean, 31 points, 35, 27, 27, 37, you know, 28. So, I don't know. Both sides of the ball definitely need some work. But now let's let's find out who's performing, who we want to keep around this team. Maybe who is on the chopping block, hot seat type of deal. Uh, Manny Thomas. It was his rookie year. I mean, he didn't do good by any means. Didn't even, you know, pass completion wasn't even above, or wasn't even 60 or above. So, but he, he's a rookie. He was a rookie, so he's not going to be on the chopping block. He's a freaking superstar dev. I want to see if we can get him to be successful. So we're going to give him his rookie contract, you know what I mean? And we're going to hopefully see this guy improve. As far as running goes, Jamal Williams uh, he he didn't even have he didn't have as much carries as Leonard Fournette um, at at the end of the season. Not too sure. I think it's because we had Leonard Fournette as the power back and as the third down back. I would like Jamal Williams. If he, I feel like if he got more carries, he would have definitely broke a thousand yards. I want to keep him on the team. We will be getting him back. Um, I want to get him on a nice contract. He's 26. We could play him till he's like probably 32. And get good production out of him. Um, nine rushing touchdowns is phenomenal. Leonard Fournette got eight, and he wasn't even healthy for the whole year. You know what I mean? Manny Thomas also got some stuff done on the ground. But these two are a very good duo. I mean, you see how the touchdowns they brought us. As far as receiving Terry McLaurin, he he was the guy that we we wanted him to be. He's getting big money, and he's playing big football. He stayed healthy. He got 1,200 yards. Five touchdown receptions. He played good. Jamal Agnew played decent as well. He's a superstar. I want to keep him around, grow him. Unfortunately, he's a lot older, so he'll probably only get to high 80s, and that's probably where he'll cap off at because he is going to start regressing, regressing, you know, in a, in a few years. So I could see him getting maybe to a high 80 overall, the highest. But I think he's he's performing. That's all that matters. Now this guy, Kelvin Harmon, did phenomenal in the red zone. So I mean, he did good. All right. Um, 
One thing I really like, though, is all of our starting wide receivers stayed healthy. They played all 16 games, our tight end here. Definitely Tyler Croft, he didn't do too bad. I mean, 704, he, he's up there with the wide right receivers and, and, and yards, so not too bad by him. For defense, though, taking a look at defense, man, we only have one guy getting double-digit sacks, and he barely did it, and that's Chase Young. Uh, Chase Young, you know, I want him. To, I want to see more out of him. He he improved from last year, and that's all that matters. Uh, six sacks, he got ten. I want to see that continue to go up, because I want him to be that type of guy that produces 16, 18, 20 sacks. You know, I feel like he could do it. Uh, Emmanuel Agba, six and a half, so that's not bad. But, I mean, overall, though, we didn't, I mean, you know. I mean, well, shit, maybe he did pretty good. J.J. Watt only got, yeah, look at this, J.V. on Clowney got 13 and a half. I want to see more than 10. I want to see, I'm not saying 10 isn't bad. I want to see more than 10, though. I want him to be that elite guy, and he's close. Quincy Wilson got three. Holton Hill got two. I really like that. Um, we didn't do too bad. It's just we were about average on interceptions. Um, so, forced fumbles, they don't really work. I'm pretty sure we have more than that. The simming doesn't really show them. For kicking, 82%. For field goals, uh, don't know if I like that. I want to see that a little higher. I, we may be getting rid of him. For... But let's, I do want to compare that around the league, yeah. Um, maybe that's not so bad. I don't know, Matt Prater got 95. Maybe it, maybe 84 is not so bad. I am going to be comparing these guys off camera just to see if I'm making the right move or not. He was 100% on one extra points, and so that, that that is nice. But there it is, guys. Those are the stats for the year. We will be doing a next episode. It will probably be a little longer. We'll be covering, as you see, we definitely fell to the bottom in, in stats and stuff. But we'll be covering the playoffs and the offseason all in next episode. Next episode will be the long. All the postseason stuff will be extra long compared to the normal stuff. So those will be longer episodes. So that's going to be it, guys, for this I hope you guys have enjoyed. Unfortunately, year one, we're going home early. We didn't. I didn't expect anything more than this, though, and I feel like we got more than what I expected. Uh, we're 6-9-1 on year number one. We finished third in the division, and it's time to uh, you know, make some more moves and build this team up. So, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, I'll be seeing you on the next one. Peace.